Hello everyone. In two previous videos on this channel, we discussed some of the most formidable predatory birds in history. Starting with the flightless giant terror birds from South America, and then to the immense harst eagle of New Zealand. Both of these immense birds were formidable predators, which instill a sense of awe in wonder of what they would have been like to be seen alive. But what about those giant ancient birds that weren't strictly predators? Well today, in this video, we shall be discussing a species of extinct bird which was not strictly a carnivore like the previous birds we've discussed on this channel, but in many ways was even more impressive in terms of size, Dromornis the Thunderbird. The genus of flightless birds referred to as Dromornis lived in Australia between around 8 million and 30,000 years ago. The largest member of this genus was Dromornis stertorni, and in terms of sheer size, this bird was truly a goliath. The largest individuals of this species could stand at well over 3 meters tall, and weigh a whopping four to 500 kilograms in weight. Putting these numbers into context, the largest Dromornis individuals are therefore possibly one of the largest birds that have ever lived. In comparison, it was at least as tall or even sometimes taller than Epiornis, the elephant bird of Madagascar, and it was much heavier than even the giant mowers of New Zealand. A common misconception by many is that Dromornis, along with another somewhat similar looking species, Gastornis, as depicted here in this image, were terror birds. Made famous by the infamous Walking with Beasts series, Gastornis was depicted as a giant predator chasing after early mammals and consuming them. This reconstruction, however, is now often considered outdated. And although Dromornis and Gastornis vaguely resemble terror birds in many ways, there are crucial differences between them. For one, Gastornis and Dromornis are not related to terror birds or Furus rachids at all. In fact, both Dromornithids and Gastornithids are most closely related to modern fowl, such as game birds and ducks. This has earned them the nickname Terror Ducks or Demon Ducks. Furthermore, molecular analysis of the remains of these birds has shown that they were actually much more herbivorous than previously thought, and not obligate carnivores like the terror birds were. The more herbivorous diet of Gastornis and Dromornis is made more apparent when you examine the anatomy of their beaks. The beak of Dromornis, for example, is very large and powerful, but it is also relatively blunt at the end, with a straight edge on both the upper and lower mandible. This heavy and powerful bill seems well suited for crushing and grinding, but not so much ripping and tearing. In contrast, the beaks of terror birds were much better suited for a predatory lifestyle, with a much more distinctive and sharpened hook on the end of their upper mandible, just like that of modern birds of prey. It is now also known that terror birds had sharpened, sickle-like claws on their feet, much like those of the infamous Velociraptor, which were likely used for hunting as well as combat. In contrast, the foot claws of Dromornis, while still powerful, were not as sharp and were more blunt in shape. This also suggests the theory that Dromornis was actually more of a herbivorous animal, using its large, powerful beak to feed on nuts, fruits and other tough, fibrous vegetation. However, it is not impossible that Dromornis may have occasionally scavenged or maybe even eaten small animals. After all, many so-called herbivores in this day and age are sometimes known to do the same thing. During the era in which Dromornis and its relatives lived, Australia was home to a range of other very large and bizarre animals. Among them was the huge Diprotodon, a wombat-like animal similar in size to a rhino. 
One of the most bizarre and fearsome of all these creatures was the marsupial lion, Thylacoleo carnifex. Despite the name, this fierce hunter was in fact closely related to wombats and koalas, and not a true cat at all. With a bite force comparable to that of an actual lion, this predator had sharp incisors at the front of its jaws and blade-like premolar teeth used for slicing through flesh. This animal also had retractable claws on its paws like an actual feline, although one of its claws was a hugely elongated sickle-like claw used for puncturing prey. Probably the most infamous of all extinct Ice Age predators of Australia, however, was the huge Megalania. This huge predatory lizard would have resembled the modern Komodo dragon and lace monitor lizards of today, but would be much larger, similar in size to the largest living Nile crocodiles today, up to 6 metres long or more in length. A brand new discovery, however, has shown that these were not the only predators stalking the outback during the Ice Age. A brand new species of predatory bird from Australia has recently been described. Named as Dinato Aetes, this huge eagle-like raptor was truly immense in size, as you can see here where the image of this extinct bird is compared to that of a modern wedge-tailed eagle. The largest individuals would have approached even Harst Eagle in size, and just like this previously mentioned bird from New Zealand, this great raptor was truly an apex predator. Considering that modern wedge-tailed eagles have been known to attack emus in Australia, it is therefore possible that this extinct eagle may have occasionally attacked birds like Dromornis as well as part of its diet. Although there's no evidence of this bird predating birds like Dromornis so far, it is possible that in the future, new evidence may enable us to shed more light on the behaviours of these extinct giants. Despite living in an ecosystem filled with bizarre and ferocious predators, Dromornis thrived in Australia for well over 8 million years. It was truly a successful species within its habitat until the end of the Pleistocene when it, along with many other species of giant animals, died out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat different video discussing a giant bird that wasn't a predator for once. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.